All right, guys, here we go. Episode 147. This week playing against the Colorado Buffaloes. They are not doing so well in the season, and especially in conference one and seven, oh and five. And we're we're looking we're looking pretty good. Number one in the nation and steamrolling pretty much everybody. And we need to keep that going. We should have both of our running backs this week. Bollard and Bollage and Richard, my bad. The Bollard, I don't know. His first name's Kalen. That's all I know. Uh, his last name's weird. But we got the ball start the game. Second and six, little read option. Actually, triple option. Ooh, nice little block right there by my receiver. Cut it upfield, but stepped out of bounds. I probably could have got a couple more yards out of it, but it didn't matter. A couple plays later, third and three in the red zone. T toss it to my tight end. Cody Cole for the touchdown. Yes, sir. Two for three, 20 yards. I'll take it. They got the ball now, second and two. They were running the ball all over me this series. Um, chase them down with my defensive end. So I never give up on the play. And sets him up pretty good. First and 10, dump it off underneath the Clark. And Cox absolutely lowers the boom on that guy. Made him pay the price for it, but he held on to it. Didn't matter. First and 10, dropbacks pass. Dumps it over to McPherson, who just breaks the tackle, gets in the end zone touchdown to tie it up 7-7. Seven to seven. And they're, they're rolling pretty good. We got the ball 4th to 16. This is why you don't play stupid. <laughs> this is why you don't play stupid. I just got sacked the previous play. Went 4th to 16. Gave them the ball in, on like their my 30. So a couple plays later, first and 10. Hits McPherson again, second and two. Nice little first, my uh, pretty like eight yard gain toss play. I knew they were going that way, just couldn't quite get over there in time, and they take the lead. I am losing to a one and seven Colorado computer team, fourteen to seven. So second one, handed off to Wilkins, cuts it up the middle. Nice, or I guess it was a read option, not really a handed off. Um, almost gets back up, not quite enough. Sets us up pretty good. Third and nine, drop back the pass, and hi yeah, throw it. Thought I could fit it in there. His back was turned to me, but not quite enough. Put his hands up in the air. Knocks it down fourth and nine. So I'm taking the field goal this time. I learned my lesson. I want the field goal. Eight yard mile went behind me. I got that a little bit off, but it should get that. And no. No. Freaking doinked it off the bar. <laughs> Dad gummit, man. So we, we end up not scoring. They get three points on their next series. We go up by ten. So second second quarter, two minutes left. Hit a nice little tight end pass right there. First down, third and five. Hand it off to Bollage up the middle for the not quite touchdown. Fourth and one. Dang it. But we're going for it. We're being aggressive this game. Get in the end zone because we need points. I uh, haven't been able to stop them much on defense at all. And that brings us within three. Going into the half, they end up kicking another field goal because uh, I gave them too much time on the clock. So we're down by six. And looking at the stats, they have more yards than I do. They have like 130, 230 yards, and I have 200 and let's say 13. So they're tearing me up with having the ball less. So that's not very good at all. They get the ball start second half. We make them go three and out. And we, we were driving now. <laughs> driving now. Three minutes left in the third quarter. First and goal. Walking, Wilkins just walks into the end zone. Quarterback sneak. I don't run that very much, but sometimes I like to mix it up a little bit. But touchdown give a, gives us our first lead of the game since the first series. Go up 21-20. We get the ball back again. Make them punt the ball. I think maybe it's a turnover. This is a pretty good first and goal, and it's <laughs> a wildcat for the win. Touchdown. Bollage gets another touchdown. Kalen turned it up for you this game. It's welcome back, Kalen. Um, gets us on the board 28 to 20. That's all eight point lead. They got two minutes left though. Fourth quarter drop back to pass, and that guy is wide open. Beat everybody in my secondary. Is jet up the middle, up the seam, and sets him up real good. Hold him on first down, second down, third and goal. Bringing out all out blitz, and he gets in untouched. Until he gets in the end zone, then we tackle him. Because that's, that's the type of team we are. And they go for two, not surprisingly. <laughs> Minute 45. So I'm bringing a little bit of pressure this time. Drop back to pass. And he. My best corner, Luke, gets burned. Yeah, by McPherson again. Hey, I've said his name like four times. That's kind of weird. But they get the ball back. We get the ball, drop back the pass, throw it to the other team. <laughs> that is not what I needed with less than two minutes to go in the game. To have them there. For them to have the ball on the wrong side of the 50 already. So 39, drop back the pass, deep and pick. Not picked. Adams drops it. Thanks, Adams. I appreciate it, dude. We could have used that. So fourth and nine, they're taking a field goal. Kickers already made a 44-yarder. Harvey is back just in case we can pull the Auburn miracle. Let's see. And kick is up. It is not. No. It's just good. Falls in there. So we need a field goal at the very least in 40 seconds. So the ensuing kickoff. Harvey gets the ball. We get a couple of good blocks. And make a miss. Yes, misses him. And trying to get past the last guy. 43 tackles me. That was a touchdown right there. But anyways, that is up in a really good field position. We got seven seconds left. I used to a couple of timeouts. Hit my tight end on my favorite play. They're not going to cover him. I'm going to keep throwing it. That's so up first and goal. We're only getting, I have no timeouts left. So I'm taking the field goal and potentially making it to overtime. If I can make it, kicks up. And it is overtime, baby. Yes, sir. 
I'm making <laughs> I'm making this game a lot closer than it should be. So second and 17, I got a sack already. Jump like a pass, and that ball is picked. My guys are not picking off the ball, man. We started off the season great, and I've had more drops than anything recently. Forced the quarterback out of the pocket. Don't set off to Clark, and he misses it. Almost a pick again. But fourth and 17, we're living, leaving him for a field goal. Grand in the middle of the field, he's already nailed a 53-yarder, so you can pretty much guarantee where this is going. Yeah, right down the middle for three points. <laughs> so I have to have at least three points on my possession. Second and 11, I try to run a run play. didn't work out so well. Dump it off to Cole. I mean, it's a money play. I want to run it if they don't guard it. Sets us up pretty good. End up getting a first down, first and goal. Richard gets the win for us, hands it off, and <laughs> we sneak out of Colorado with a victory. Oh, my gosh. Kalen, player of the game, 30 carries, 204 yards, two touchdowns. He he carried my team when I needed it. Quarterback didn't do so well. I think I was like less than 50% accuracy is not very good at all. But it was all right. Games around the country, the one that really matters, Florida ends up beating South Carolina. Everything else is not ranked, so it doesn't really matter. Stats. And they, they passed the ball like crazy on me. They couldn't run the ball for nothing, but they passed like crazy. Players of the game, Kalen for me on offense, Smallwood, defensive tackle. I don't even know where that guy came from, but I'm glad he's showing up on my team. And their top guy was a kicker. Nice, nice. But we'll be right back with the advance, see where everybody else is going. All right, just got done showing the highlights from the game against Colorado, and I almost lost. I almost lost. That was not a good game for me by any means. Remind me next time not to play with a severe headache and be focused on the game instead of watching YouTube videos on the side while I'm playing. Um, because I almost lost to a one in seven <laughs> Colorado team. That would have been that would have been bad. So bad. But we ended up getting to win. So let's see how everybody else did this week. Penn State ends up winning fifty six to sixteen. Missouri wins forty eight to thirteen. Iowa ends up losing fifty six to fifty three. Man, another heartbreaker. NC State wins thirty five twenty four. Kansas wins 52 to 49. You want to see the TCU game? He actually played the Italian this week, Oklahoma State. So make sure you check out that. So I'm gonna skip right over him. Nebraska ends up winning 62-31, and and uh, he's been posting uh, a couple of things, and he's got a good point, man. He uh, his he's only got two losses. I'm pretty sure on the season, and he's only, he's lost like two of the top five teams in the nation. So what what the deal? Why is he only 22? That doesn't make any sense. Um, we'll look at the. It's up 25 after the advance, but he's got he's got some good points, man. It doesn't make any sense, but that's that's weird. That's really weird. Washington State ends up losing 45 to 40. Texas A&M wins 48-31. Mid Tennessee State had a bye week this week, and like I said, you want to see the Oklahoma State game. It's over on the Italian channel. Links in the description as always. So we're gonna advance it, see what's going on, and we'll be right back. All right, just got done with the advance. Um, Gaming Doge had posted a comment on the last video saying he would like to see, or maybe it's two videos back. I think it's last video. Saying so he would like to see some more recruiting. I'm not going to show. Well, actually, I don't care about the top three guys. I mean, they're 64, 64 to 66, so whatever. If y'all want them, you can have them. Uh, <laughs> but I'm just going to show what I've got so far, and then we'll go look at the top classes and see what everybody else got to an extent. I won't be able to break it down like this, but we can kind of see what's going on. This is my best guy. Guy, he's a quarterback. Nobody else really wanted him, so I'll, I'll take it, especially with the way the settings are. This year, the accuracy is going to come into play, but he's really fast also. That's going to definitely help. And then I got myself an athlete who is extremely fast. And I know oh, Mr. G Mr. Got Game said he got a, uh, a an athlete that was 98 speed and 96 acceleration. Golly. <laughs> That's going to be huge. Huge, man. This guy's more than likely going to be probably a running back, maybe. No. Power moves. No. Not offensive line. Break tackle, 74. Decent. Elusive is pretty good. But carrying is not very good at all, and his coverage isn't great. But he might be, and well, his tackle, his tackle hit power. I don't know where he's gonna go, but I'll figure something out. Rory Dow, he'll fit, he'll he'll fit somewhere. Mike Weber, nice little outside linebacker. My tight end. This is another guy nobody went after, and I don't know why not. But I I snuck him, <laughs> snuck him while I got the chance. I got a fullback just because why not? And he was interested in my school. I didn't really have to do much to do it, and I got him. Got a tackle. I look at that plus ten. Yeah. Yeah, that was a fine for me. A halfback, that's plus five. He's decent. He'll, he probably won't play much. How's that linebacker? Athlete. Jared Hurd. Where's he going to be? He's got decent break tackle. Spin move, elusiveness, pretty good. Um, returns, pretty good. Catch is pretty decent. But his zone and man coverage and play recognition are all pretty good. His tackle, 63. He's probably going to be a defensive back somewhere. There's no doubt about that. And I got another tackle, center, guard, defensive end. So I've got quite a bit of people so far this year. It's, it's looked out pretty pretty well actually I'm pretty happy with what I got 
for being 18th on the list. <laughs> 13 people so far. Texas A&M sitting at number two. Let's see who he's got. A free safety tackle, wide receiver, middle linebacker. He's got a pretty good crew. I mean, two five-star players, that's not bad at all. Nebraska, same lines, two five-star players. Athlete, wide receiver, athlete, wide receiver, wide receiver, strong safety. So he's looking to throw the ball, apparently. <laughs> he's got wide receivers up to Wazoo, Penn State. Halfback, athlete, athlete, outside linebacker. He's looking pretty good also. Iowa, corner, ooh, corner tied in and a couple of athletes. So he's got a couple of defensive backs right off the bat. A couple of defensive players, a couple of offensive players. He's pretty mixed up in C State. Um, he's, he knows how to recruit. There's no doubt about that. Look at my guys. I got a two star. <laughs> I got two, four stars and I'm happy about that. Everybody else is not, not doing so well. Where is everybody else at? Come on. It's when it gets really laggy and I don't understand why it does, but it's like, come on, hurry up. Washington state's doing pretty good. A couple of athletes and defensive backs. And we got, come on. We haven't even seen like Oklahoma state yet. No. Uh, or TCU, but he joined a little late, so the computer might have screwed him over on that. Wow, Kansas. Kansas just joined the dynasty. He's already got a better recruiting class in Oklahoma State over there, the Italian. What are you doing, dude? You got a free safety in a corner. Get the program, guy. Get some more recruits. He, he typically gets his at the end of the season. Uh, like, like, he makes a strong push, but, I mean, he's got a rivalry game at the very end against Oklahoma, so that definitely helps whenever it comes to recruiting. I think I have one more game left. A home game. I think it's this next one. Missouri's got a tight end. And then I'm I'm done. I got everything else away. I play Arizona at, at in Arizona and Tucson. So it's going to be interesting to see how that works out for me. But we play UCLA this week. Hopefully we can get the win. They're number 13. They are 8-2. And, and looking to knock me out of the number one slot. See how everybody else or who everybody else is playing. Um, Penn State is playing Ohio State. Missouri's playing Mid-Tennessee State. Iowa's playing Wisconsin. NC State's got a bye week. Kansas is playing the Italian. Oh, man. Oklahoma State. That's going to be interesting right there. TCU is playing Texas Tech. Nebraska's playing Illinois. Washington State's got a bye week. Texas A&M's got a bye week. Mid-Tennessee State's playing Missouri. And Oklahoma State's playing Kansas, number two. So let's check out the top 25, see what's going on there. I, I saw we were 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 now. So that's pretty cool. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. So if anybody loses, somebody's going to jump. I know if myself or Oklahoma State lose, we probably won't make it back in time just because the end of the season, not going to happen. But everybody's still threatening. I mean, with North Northwestern still there, Arizona Arizona lost UCLA in overtime. That's who the number two was. Uh-oh. There we go. Texas a &M cracks the top ten. So we got six in the top ten. Looking pretty good there. Nebraska's jumped up. Yeah, look, he's seven and two. And let's see who... It's not going to show his schedule, is it? Oh, it does. He lost to Oklahoma State and Penn State. So that doesn't make much sense to me. Uh, I know if he beats Northwestern, he's going to jump up. He's only, he's only lost two games against the number two and number five team in the nation. And Notre Dame, Georgia Tech, UCLA, Oklahoma, Baylor, Washington, all up above him. That seems kind of fishy. But we got Nebraska, Iowa, and then... Uh, somebody's got to be real close. Uh, maybe not. Ohio State got knocked out. Check out the BCS, the one that really matters. Right now it's Arizona State, Oklahoma State, Missouri, Penn State, Nebraska, NC State. I won't say Nebraska because I was just talking about them. Not too bad. Not too bad. Check out the Heisman watch real quick. See who's up for that. We got NC State, Nebraska. Oh, Nebraska jumped up. 36 carries, 460 yards, three touchdowns. Dude, calm down. Penn State, Texas A&M, Alabama. And then let's actually run through the award semifinals. I typically don't do this. I'll leave it for somebody else to do, like the Italian. But uh, I'm going to run through it real quick. Just the top ten. not going to skip. Oh, I'm not going to show anything else other than that. But we got NC State, Texas A&M, Penn State, Nebraska, Oklahoma State, Washington State, and Oklahoma State. So a lot of users on that list. I'm, I'm actually looking for me. I know we got a lot, of, a lot of users on here. User, 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 user. <laughs> but I'm actually looking for me. Uh-oh, Luke. Going for the bed narc. I mean, he's tearing it up. Eight picks on the season. He's uh, being legit. Washington State. Westfall was good for me when I was over there. Texas A&M, Mizzou. Arizona State again. Ball. Free safety. Making making a run for it. Uh, I'm not going to even pretend to know how to say that name. So I'm not going to say it. Uh, our, our typical users are up there again. Everybody is pretty much up for every other award. And as it looks like, users are going to pretty much win out out of everybody. 
Uh, like I said, I'm just scanning real quick. I'm actually just looking for my team. <laughs> my tight ends up there. He's, he's he's like a decent stats. I mean, 38 receptions, 583 yards, 7 touchdowns, but he's not going to be this guy. 90 catches, 1,300 yards, 9 touchdowns? No way. Not even coming close to catching that guy. NC State, Iowa, uh, Mizzou, Remington, NC State, Mizzou, Iowa. I mean, like I said, it's the same same guys over and over and over again. All up for the awards. And I'm sitting back watching. Except for my corner. He might actually have a shot. Oh, he's up for the Thorpe, too. And my, my safety. Yeah, buddy. The guy, yeah, that kicker was good. That kicker was real good. I absolutely missed that guy. Especially since I doinked it off the crossbar this last game. Best returner. I figured it would be close. Missouri, Oklahoma State. Yeah, that was, yeah. Penn State and me. So that's the rundown of everything as of right now. That's where we're sitting. We're looking pretty good, man. Everybody's been real active this uh, this this season, man. It's it's been pretty cool. We got a lot of guys in the top twenty-five, a lot of guys in the top five. So it's gonna be it's gonna be a run for the money the last couple of weeks to see who's gonna play for the national championship. So yeah, stay tuned for that. That's gonna be it for this episode. I hope you guys enjoyed, and I will see y'all next time.